Hello, hello, hello! In this very first lesson, we are going to take a look at just installing Wagtail. We're not going to do anything with the template yet, we're just going to get Wagtail up and running on our machine. Now, I'm using macOS, so your commands might be a little bit different for Windows. You can Google them. They're also available in various other videos and courses online. Uh, I might even have a tutorial for Windows on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my terminal, and I'm going to create a new directory, and I'm going to call this Atlas Wagtail. And I'm going to go into this directory, Atlas Wagtail, uh, if I could spell that right, Atlas Wagtail. And I'm going to type Python 3-V. For you, it might just be Python-V. Uh, and I type Python 3 again, it should just be Python-V, right? And you can see I've got different versions of Python in, on here. So I'm going to be using Python 3.11.4, so I'm going to do Python 3-M-V-E-N-V-dot-Venv. Now it's going to look like nothing really happened in here, but if I type ls-la, or if you're on Windows at dir, you're going to see that there is a directory in here called venv. That is our virtual environment. Now, now, this is just one way to set up your, your Python environment. Uh, I'm going to be using this because this is a, a very friendly way of uh, just creating a temporary virtual environment for any Wagtail project or Python project. So now that I have that, I want to make sure I pip install Wagtail. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to go ahead and pip install Wagtail for me. So we just kind of let it do its thing. And when it's done, we're going to see that really nothing has changed, but there are going to be some files in our virtual environment. So if I do ls-la, it looks like nothing has changed. But now I can run this wagtail command. Wagtail start my site. Actually, I'm going to call this atlas because that's the name of the, uh, the theme. And I'm going to put a dot in here. So that's just going to put all these files beside this virtual environment. So it's going to be all inside here instead of inside of a subdirectory. Now I'm going to do ls-la, or again, if you're on Windows, it's dir, I believe, ls-la, and you're going to see that I've got a docker ignore virtual environment directory, docker file, I've got all these things in here. Now, if you don't like virtual environments, you can always use the docker file, and if you're curious about how to expand upon your Wagtail website using docker, I have a course for that. It is, it is called Wagtail Plus Docker. If you're interested in getting up and running with Docker and expanding it to include Postgres, Redis, Elasticsearch, Docker Compose, all that good stuff, this is the course for you. It is a mini course. It is only $10. Uh, but if Docker's not your thing, feel free to ignore that. So now we have this uh, set of files in here. We actually need to do one more step. We need to pip install dash r the requirements.txt file. And that's because if we do uh, if we take a quick little look in here, we need to actually install these. Now, these might already be installed. These might not be installed depending on your setup. Let's go ahead and pip install dash r requirements.txt. Everything looks like it's already satisfied. Perfect. That's exactly what we were looking for. You want to run this command anyways, even if everything is in there, uh, just because worst case scenario, everything's satisfied, nothing's going to download. So you're good to run this more than once. Next, I'm going to, I'm actually going to split my terminal here. So I'm going to go tmux. You don't have to use tmux. You can use multiple windows if you want. Uh, I'm going to source back into my virtual environment in both of these. And up top, I'm going to run python manage.py run server. And we're going to see that migrations are going to need to happen. All right, we have 166 unapplied migrations. This is going to provision our database. So up here, I'm going to be running my server, and I'll run some commands down, down below. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch that around. At the top, I'm going to run some commands. At the bottom is going to be our server. Up here, I am simply going to write manage.py make migrations. Nope, manage.py migrate. And that's going to apply 166 of these files to my new database and set everything up the way that I need it to be set up. So let's go ahead and type in localhost port 8000, and our website is there. Then we can click on our admin interface and oh, oh, we need an admin. So let's go in here, Python manage.py, create super user. And this is all stuff that should be familiar to you if you've written any Wagtail or Django before. My username is gonna be Caleb. My email address is gonna be blank. My password is gonna be Caleb. And my password again is gonna be Caleb. And I'm gonna say, yes, that's good enough. Caleb and Caleb, let's remember me. There we go, I'm inside and I'm getting all sorts of warnings because that was a terrible password. Please use a better password, even on localhost. Um, but here we are, we are inside of the admins. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. And 
We have search, we have a page, images, documents, reports, and settings. We're gonna work with all sorts of things in here. The next thing I want to do is I want to open this up in my editor. So I use VS Code and this is my project. You can see it's exactly what I saw in the terminal. Um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do, I think immediately what I usually do is honestly, I create a git ignore file. So I take this Docker ignore file and I'm gonna not open VS Code again, but I'm gonna create a new file in here. And I'm basically just gonna copy and paste this over to .git ignore. Yes, use a git ignore file. Uh, and the reason I want this is primarily because I don't want to commit anything from my virtual environment. So do I have venvin here? Yep, Python and others. That's also ignore dot venv because that's what we're calling it. And this is gonna ignore most of the files that we need. Should you need to expand on this? Absolutely you can. Static files, I actually do want static files. Media, not so much. And the database, uh, no, not so much. Uh, is there anything else in here that raises a little bit of a red flag for me? Nothing off the top of my head, and if there is, we can always add it later. Cool, we've got this git ignore. And then the last thing that I'm gonna want to do is because I like using git, if you're using git or mercurial or some sort of version control, go ahead and type git init, git branch, let's change that branch to uh, be from the default of master to main, and now we can start using git, git status, and we can add all of our things to our git. So let's go ahead, git add. I'm gonna do a git status and just quickly look at all these files in here. Make sure that we're not adding our virtual environment at all. And what I'm gonna do is simply git commit initial setup. And that's it. We are done with installing Wagtail. In the next lesson, we're going to dissect the actual template and look at it from a visual perspective.